Hey guys, um, so today my sister really wanted to do this video that's coming up, the, I think it was a clown, um, makeup face painting tutorial. She has been really obsessed with, like, face painting these days. She got that stuff for Christmas, which was, like, three months ago, but anyways, yeah, so she just really wanted to do this, so please continue on watching if you want to see how to turn yourself into a clown. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm going to teach you how to paint your face like a clown. I loved doing this when I was little. I don't know how I learned it, but I just saw a clown and started painting my face like that. You're going to need newspaper so that if you spill or anything, um, a bowl of water so that you can dip your brush in, paintbrush, um, a sponge to get the bigger areas, um, face paint, obviously, and also your face. You need your face to do this. Okay, so, first, you're going to start off by painting your whole face white. So you can just You would like a mirror? Yes, I need a mirror. Okay. The computer is not that bright. So we'll fix it after. Just try to get your whole face as white as you possibly can. I look scary. Be careful around the eyes. Here's a mirror, my dear child. Thank you. Okay, so try to get a lot of it. Don't just um, not get any of it. So yeah, sorry, the mirror's in the... Here. And try to get your whole nose. Don't get in your nose because people aren't going to see that, but get all around it. Get on your eyes. Your eyebrows will look funny. After you put lots of it on, like try to get most areas, if I said before, so it's really important to do that, get most areas. After that, take a sponge and try to like mix it together and make it more white and more everywhere. And even if you have to go over it again, like maybe a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And now... Okay, and after you sponge it a couple of times, you can actually now take the brush, dip it in with some water, and start actually painting in some areas. So maybe like... Just put it in some areas, because then we'll use the sponge again to mix it up. Just to make it a little darker and... Uh, 
just get it all around your face. Lots of areas. Get it like all on your face and everywhere. And then you can take the sponge again and just start to mix it together so that You really need a white face for this. So see, you have a white face. Good. And um, it would actually be best if you do your lips. Like my lips, uh, I kinda don't wanna do, but I will. And she has baby lips on. So yes, I do have baby lips on, white. so it's white. Um, remember, don't eat this. Usually you're going to use paint to do this. After you do that, you can take the thing and go over it so that your lips kind of blend in rather than being a little darker than everything else. After you do this, it's... A uh, good step so far because you have a white face. And then next, you're gonna take um, your brush, get some water on it, and dip it in the red. And here, mix it around a couple, or not a couple, a bit. And then do it on your nose. I have to look in the mirror for this because it's really. I'd rather have a pink nose than a red one, but so you just let that dry in a bit. You can come back and maybe make it red, or after it dries, you can um come put the actual sticks on them rather than the paint. But I usually do the paint, and now. I usually your lips are supposed to be red and your nose supposed to be red, but my lips are gonna be blue. So I don't know. You gotta make a line with it. You should get it pretty blue. My lips blend right into it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take, cause my nose should be a little bit more dry. I'm gonna take the red and just go over it. And um, my sister just has to tell you something. Sorry, um, but um, we're kind of following the manual because all of this face painting stuff is a snazaroo. I don't know if she told you or not, but it's a snazaroo line, and this book comes with it. And she's gonna be doing. She's not like um copying this one. She's kind of doing her own that she used to like always do when she was little. But she's gonna do these eyebrows just because she can't really remember what she used to do. Yeah, I don't. So she's know. gonna do eyebrows like those. Yeah, with the nice green eyebrows. Just like that one. So the nice green eyebrows, apparently. Yep. Okay, so once you get that, maybe you take the some water, go on the red a little bit more, maybe dab a bit on again. Because your nose really has to shine. 
Okay, so apparently we're doing green eyebrows now, all of a sudden. But I just have to look at this sometime because I don't know how to do green eyebrows. Sorry. So, okay, we're just gonna take. I want to get closer for this. I have to look in the mirror for this, of course. There, just make kind of like a bubble on top. Here. And then color it in. Your eyebrow, it feels really sticky, of course. But, um. So one eye, oh, so I look like a half clown. And now just take the other eye. Or you should probably go the other way. Or else your eyebrow will stick up. Okay. There you go, there's your basic clown. Just maybe go over it if it looks darker or if it looks lighter. If someplace looks darker, maybe like if you're if it's on your eyebrow, then just like go over it a couple of times. And if it looks lighter, like up here, just touch it up. There, after you've done this, you look like a clown. Of course, you go put on anything, like a big, I just put on a shirt to do this. You could go put on a big clown costume and go scare somebody or maybe make a little kid laugh or something like that. So it's a good thing to know, to know how to do a clown. And after, if you want, this is usually what I do. I take the white uh, crayon and go over some spots just to make sure that people know I'm a clown. Okay, thank you. Uh, on this, I'm gonna try to get 100 views. So if you know anybody, tell them to come. So comment, subscribe, and have fun doing this. Bye. Hey guys, Um, so I hoped you liked that video. Um, my sister really, really wanted to do a clown one, like a clown face painting tutorial. Um, so as she said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!